countless reactions have been made on a newly leaked sparring and training footage of Mike Tyson. Ahead of his fight with Jake Paul, Mike Tyson has been displaying his skill, strength, and speed in the boxing ring with several videos of him doing the rounds. And once again, he sparked talks and responses from professionals and fans in the world of boxing. Let's check it out. A new sparring and training footage of Mike Tyson ahead of his much anticipated fight with Jake Paul has definitely left the boxing world staggered. Tyson has been seen in recently leaked footage where he was sparring with his trainer, Rafael Cordero, and some other boxers. And expectedly, this footage has elicited reactions from several pundits and professionals in the boxing world. The latest leaked footage definitely sent a message to the entire boxing world as to Tyson's readiness for the fight against Jake Paul. Mike Tyson retired many years ago from professional boxing and only made a return for an exhibition match four years ago to fight Roy Jones Jr. and he hasn't gone in the ring against anybody since then. At the age of 57, Mike Tyson's readiness to fight Jake Paul, an opponent over 30 years younger than he is, continues to divide opinions. There is no doubt that Mike Tyson is held in very high esteem by boxing professionals around the world as he is definitely a former heavyweight champion and one of the greatest of all time. Iron Man, the man I would love to have read comic books about when I was a kid, Iron Mike Tyson, the beast, the man with a 19 inch neck, the man with quads that made people say, don't skip leg day. The man with a chest that made you have to get your suits tailored, the beast that will knock you out of a left or right. British boxer Anthony Joshua said of Mike Tyson a few months ago. Number two is going to be the Iron Man, the man that I would love to have read comic books about when I was a kid. Iron Mike Tyson, the beast, the man with a 19 inch neck, the man with quads that made people say don't skip leg. Joshua had clearly idolized Tyson throughout his career and according to him, Mike Tyson was sent from heaven to grace us with his boxing talent. Mike is a unique specimen. I can learn from him. The recent leaked footage making the rounds has also elicited a reaction from Anthony Joshua. And it's not surprising that Joshua believes Tyson has still got it in him ahead of the fight with Paul. From what I've seen, it's going to be really difficult for Jake Paul to beat Tyson on July 20th. You can see how fierce and frightening he looks with this footage. Any fighter who doesn't get on his A game against Tyson is going to be toast. Yeah, he's 57 but has still got the speed, the strength, the technique and the IQ to be a very strong challenge to anyone. <laughs> Professional MMA fighter and former UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman also shared the same line of thought with Joshua and a few weeks ago he had even given Jake Paul no chance whatsoever against Tyson. I don't think Jake Paul can beat Mike Tyson, he said when quizzed by reporters regarding the upcoming match. I have seen some of the training footages of Tyson and I think he's got so much energy for a man who is almost 60 years old. Tyson is a man of many techniques and I see he's still got them. Not surprised because the technique and the basic principles will always be there. Mike Tyson is known by many boxers and boxing enthusiasts to be a fitness demon. The level he always reaches in training and sparring sessions is unmatched and in terms of work ethic, Iron Mike is an example to many. Though retired, there has been a sense that Mike Tyson may be returning to that rigorous training schedule that made him to be reputed as the Iron Mike, the man that many men dreaded to face in the ring. Joe Rogan succinctly captured how good Tyson was in his prime, highlighting his strength, power, and dominance in the ring. Mike Tyson in his prime, in those years through like 86, 87 to 89, 90, whatever those years were, where he was just storming the gates, I'd put Mike Tyson up against anybody who ever lived. That guy was a special fighter. He was just a juggernaut. Just you couldn't stop him. He was a different guy. It's like a different model of a fighter that we had ever seen in the heavyweight division before. 
a destroyer man, where every fight was an execution. I mean, just ferocious, destructive, accurate, everything is perfect. Mike Tyson, in his prime, in those years from like 86, 87 to 89, 90, whatever those years were, where he was just storming the gates, I put that Mike Tyson up against anybody who ever. Those words aptly describe a man who was a perpetual menace during his prime years. He could arguably be described as the best of his era. All the things he achieved were no mean feat. And from the records, he has to put in a lot of work to reach those levels. I run four miles, then I walk 10 miles. Later in the day, I come back from my walk and I do 2,500 sit-ups and I may do some push-ups. Tyson said while talking about his fitness and conditioning schedule, me and my friend, we gambled instead of gambling money, we'd gamble push-ups. And it's an all-day process. You go upstairs, get in the hot tub, steam off, rest, get up in the afternoon, you go to the gym, box eight to nine rounds and do abs again. Come home, eat food, work out. Middle of the afternoon at six, go to the strength and conditioning coaches and stay there for two hours. I started using weights since um, doing a lot of benching and stuff and doing sprints. Yeah, a lot of abs, a lot of everything. It was just a beautiful time in life. What we would do, we'd have um, throw the medicine ball back and forth, the medicine ball this, and then I'd go home and I'll do 2,500 on my thing under my bedroom bench and I'd do 2,500 then. I started using weights and um, doing a lot of benching and stuff and doing sprints. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot, lot of abs? Yeah, a lot of abs, lot, everything. It was just beautiful time. My back was refusing it because I did so many sit-ups. Tyson had initially reduced or moderated the intensity of his training routine, but the latest footage suggests he's back at it. Putting in the hard yards like he once used to do, the 57-year-old had even admitted previously that he keeps away from the hard training and stuff as it reactivates his ego. However, his ego now seems reactivated ahead of the much-anticipated bout with Jake Paul. Nah, man, I keep away from that stuff, man. All that stuff, you know, all that stuff reactivates my ego, Tyson once said in an interview with Joe Rogan. Trying to get ripped off of it reactivates it. I do my treadmill work and stuff. On hitting bags and throwing some bombs, Tyson's response was also negative as according to him. Not anymore, I'd do them probably for the camera and stuff. The last time Mike Tyson got in this kind of situation where he had to prepare for a match was in 2020 against Roy Jones Jr. In a match that was declared as a draw, Tyson's opponent was in awe of what he had encountered in the ring against the then 55 year old, I always wanted to see what it's like to be punched by Mike. And Mike, when he hits you, it feels like a horse kicking you. You know, a horse kick's pretty, a horse kick in the head can kill you, that's how Mike's punches feel. So when Mike hits you, it's like nothing you've ever felt before. Jones's comments could well serve as a warning to Jake Paul, who may tend to underrate Tyson given his age. I didn't want to get back in the ring, but back in my prime, I did want to fight Mike Tyson. So when Mike said he wanted to have an exhibition and they called me, I was like, of course, I would do that for free. I just want to get in there with him. Tyson will be 58 when both fighters meet at the AT&T Stadium on the 20th of July, while Paul will still be 27, and that's a 31-year age gap between the two. Deducing from Jones's message, complacency could be Jake Paul's biggest undoing on July 20th. I was excited because it's Mike Tyson, so it's like, in most cases, you'll say, yes, I got a big fight on the road coming, you know. But this time, I was like, you know what? You better get in a little shape because you're going there with Mike Tyson. And you don't know what Mike Tyson might come in there. You don't know if you have to protect your ear, your chin, your jaw. You don't know what he might do. So what you better do is get in shape and get prepared for whichever Mike shows up. I was excited yeah, because it's Mike Tyson. So it's like, in most cases you'll say, yes, I got a big fight on the, on, 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 the, on the road coming, you know? But this time I was like, you know what? You better get in a little shape because you are going there with Mike Tyson. <laughs> These comments further go to pass an emphatic message to Jake Paul not to get too excited about the matchup with Tyson, who could conjure up anything against whatever opponent he faces. At 55, the power is the last thing to go, but the thing is, the speed is still there. It's terrifying. And I don't know what he did with Roy Jones Jr., but in my mind, they made some sort of agreement where Mike wasn't going to punch him in the face because most of the hits he hit him with, unless it was a jab, was to the body. Joe Rogan was said while analyzing Mike Tyson's fight of four years ago with Roy Jones Jr. Some pros have also given their reactions on the buzz ahead of the upcoming matchup. Conor McGregor's initial reaction was that of disinterest, rather than throwing his weight behind any of the superstars. He gave somewhat of a nonchalant reaction when the bout was first made official. 
Oh, geez, it's a bit strange. The interest is low, and I don't know. I don't understand it. I wish well for Mike. Oh, geez, I don't. It's, it's a bit. It's a bit strange. You know, the, is my interest. I've not. I, the interest is low, and I don't know. I don't really. It, it, I don't understand it. Got so. it, got it. Any difference between this one and... Well for, I wish well for Mike. Reacting to the recent training footage making the rounds, McGregor had a more definite response as according to him, it doesn't look good for Jake Paul. Wow. When I saw that sparring footage, I was like, wow, Mike still got it. If Mike Tyson can go into that match with that level of intensity and power, then it's going to be tough for Jake. Jake's much younger though, and that could be to his advantage. Just only if he can withstand the intensity Mike gives him in the first couple of rounds. Do you think Jake Paul can beat Mike Tyson? I don't think so. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao, on the other hand, is adamant that Jake Paul stands a huge chance against Mike Tyson. According to him, Mike Tyson shouldn't be getting into a fight with Jake Paul in the first place, as he's retired and has his legacy cemented amongst the greats already. In his opinion, it's a new era now, and fighters like Tyson need not bother themselves with fights anymore. All these shots and jabs in their sparring videos do not really matter. Training's not a real fight. Yeah, it's great to see him do something this great at his age, but there's more. It's in the boxing ring we're going to see the real fight, and who's got the juice to win a fight? Mike at 57 is obviously not that guy anymore. He's strong, he's a legend, but I doubt his ability to go the miles against a guy in his 20s. All Jake's got to do is work on his defensive. If he can do that, I'm sure Mike won't be able to withstand him on the offensive. Manny Pacquiao's comments tried to highlight the difference in the age gap between both fighters and how it could be an advantage to the less experienced Jake Paul, who still possesses his raw power and speed. However, one thing is noticeable from all comments, the positive comments and the negative ones alike. The beauty of Tyson's training can't be gainsaid. Every professional has spoken about how great and magnificent his training performances have been. Experience and age remain the major factors heading into July 20th, and it is clear that whoever these tilt towards would edge it out on the D-Day. Despite the recent controversies around him and his brother Logan Paul, still remained in support of his brother against Tyson. Logan Paul has been unfazed by Mike Tyson's exploits in his sparring and training sessions. Logan said, yeah, he trains great. This has blown my mind again. He does so well, but bro, I declined fighting him because it's not worth it. He's an old man and it doesn't matter how much he trains. He's gone past it, and that's the fact. I was surprised he could do that much, but that doesn't really matter when we think about the real truth. Training and sparring isn't a real matchup. Devin and Mayweather sparred and Devin won, but guess who's unbeaten? Logan Paul has held on to his stance, regardless of the pressures around him and his brother. Talking about Devin Haney and Mayweather, the revelation of their sparring session was made by Devin Haney's father, Bill Haney. Bill Haney made the shocking claim after Mayweather was the source of a leaked sparring footage. His revelation was aimed at firing a shot at Floyd Mayweather Jr. and discrediting him. While videos of the sparring session haven't been seen, Bill Haney has been believed since Mayweather hasn't come out to dispute his claims. Finally, Larry Holmes had an impressive response to Tyson's recent video. He said, Tyson keeps surprising me with his burst. I know he's got it, but he surprised me by his energy. It's huge. It's made me want to do more. It's bringing out life in me. Tyson is the kind of guy that'll keep bringing out the best in you. He'd make you want to do more. We saw the kind of a beast he was, and he's showing what he's got to us all. He's most likely going to come victorious and go for a few more fights. He should go ahead and reach his best, Holmes said. But not only the boxing professionals had their opinions to share, supporters of the game and the legend Mike Tyson had numerous comments to give on the X app after chancing upon Tyson's training sessions. One fan who believed Mike Tyson was going to end Jake Paul's dream said, would be so funny to watch 60-year-old Iron Mike shit this YouTuber's dream. Another fan explained Tyson's style from the training videos and felt Jake Paul stood no chance against the boxing legend. He has a top-notch stance and the rest just fits in. He was cut out for this sport. I feel sorry for Jake Paul. A fan then quipped, Jake is in for some trouble. Many fans remain hopeful of Mike Tyson's well-being and one of them commented on X saying, I am praying you give us one last show, Mike. Take it to the young buck and show him what a true champion is. Finally, another fan said, The baddest man on the planet is back. Let's have a Moorer versus Foreman again. Truly, Moorer's fight against George Foreman presented a similar scenario. 
and surprisingly, the older boxer won the bout. Mora controlled the pace of the fight from the beginning and kept winning rounds. Foreman took a significant number of jabs to the face, which began to take a toll later in the fight as his left eye nearly swelled shut. In spite of the physical pounding Moore was giving him, Foreman remained on his feet. Notably, he had only been stopped once in his career in the fight with Ali. In addition, only Ali, Jimmy Young, and Ron Lyle had been able to knock him down during the course of his career. Despite his ability to take whatever Moore was throwing at him, Foreman appeared on the way to yet another defeat in a world championship fight. After the ninth round, Judges Roth and Giampa had given seven rounds to Moore and had him up 88-83. Judge Ford's scorecard was a little closer as he scored the bout 86-85 in favor of the champion, with Foreman winning two additional rounds on his card. Knowing where his fighter stood, Dundee told Foreman just before he sent him out for the 10th round that it was going to take a knockout to win and that the time to get it had come. Meanwhile, in the champion's corner, his trainer Teddy Atlas had picked up on what Foreman would later say that he had made his major strategy during the fight. Atlas told Moore that Foreman was landing his best shots in close quarters, and Foreman was throwing a quick series of combinations starting with a jab, which he used to break through Moore's guard and then following that up with a quick right cross. Atlas advised Moore to stand back and make Foreman come to him. However, Moore did not follow Atlas's instructions and kept advancing on Foreman as the round began. The challenger eventually hurt Moore with a body punch, which slowed his progress to the point where Foreman was able to start landing his combinations more frequently. Moore was able to fend Foreman off for most of the round, but Foreman was eventually able to land one combination that caught Moore flush on the jaw. Moore, dazed, fell to his back as Cortez began his count. He lifted his head off the canvas for a second, then began moving as the count reached five. By the time Cortez reached eight, Moore had rolled over onto his side and tried to push himself up, but he was still on his knees when the count reached ten. Foreman was declared the winner by knockout and became the champion. Years later, when the fight was featured as part of HBO's Legendary Knights documentary series chronicling memorable fights broadcast by the network, Foreman said that his strategy was to let Moore fight his usual fight while waiting for him to slip up. He felt that if he was able to wait, Moore would leave himself open for a combination that would allow Foreman to knock him out. Foreman went further saying that was how he dreamed the situation would present itself. Moore dismissed Foreman's recollection of the events, instead repeatedly saying he got lucky. There was a staggering 19 years age difference between George Foreman and Michael Moore. And after the match, at 45 years and 360 days, Foreman beat Jersey Joe Walcott's old record by eight years, and he had also become the first man to regain a world boxing title 20 years after losing it. And on top of that, no heavyweight champion had beaten an opponent 19 years his junior to win a title. Boxing analysts and fans alike remarked on how Foreman had exercised his old ghost in more ways than one. He had upset Moore in a way similar to how Ali had stunned a younger Foreman in Zaire, using toughness, savvy, and an ability to summon power at critical moments to overcome youth, speed, and power. In a similar vein, it is hoped that Mike Tyson would repeat such a similar feat when he faces Jake Paul on July 20th. With his training and sparring sessions, it is hoped that Mike Tyson would revive his old self and give Jake Paul a devastating defeat. On July 20th, Mike Tyson's heroics in his training sessions would be transferred to the ring. If you enjoyed watching this video, kindly react by clicking the like button. Also, ensure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to stay updated with the latest news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing. Until next time, peace out.